Hello, Gollum. Finally leaving that cheerless cave. It's always good to talk with you. Behave. <laughs> the Riddle Master doesn't know we're a prisoner, does he? No. We couldn't make him help us leave. <laughs> if he is still alive, the blind elf heard his voice. But where do we look? He's climbing again. Just ignore him, please. Quiet. Must be one of the cook's lights. There. Nasty light. He barely talks to any of us. Shh, quiet. Truthlings. Good thinking. Let's come up with a plan. Truthlings, eh? But we knows how to trick them. The magic root that the blind elf showed us, that's what we need. There it is, magic root. The pebble. Lead the way. Good Smeagol always helps. Hey. Because our feasts are not for strangers, and because your breath would gag our singers. That's just two of the many reasons why you're not invited. Keep your voice down. This is a solemn place. Where the beetles hum their peaceful song. Now it's your turn. We will wait here. They don't bite. Uh, don't bite, do they? No, they won't. <laughs> Found the nest! Can <laughs> This almost looks like one of the cook's nasty lights. <sighs> she will never know the difference. I'm 
We'll stay here and put up our lanterns. The big tree. That must be where the Riddle Master carved his hidden picture. What is Gollum doing here? No, it's invited him. She always finds a way to spoil the Here he comes. Elf, the squirrel was already dead. How could we know it was so dear to the elf? Perhaps someone friendly could help. But you don't have friends, do you? Ah, be quiet. <laughs> always so mean. And how you are lost. Better let Sneagle do the talking. What's wrong? Not your kind of music? Smeagol is not welcome. He's ugly and a liar and, and a sneak. Did someone say that? Smeagol just wanted to sit in the tree and watch the lights. Everyone always hates him. Always. Always. <sighs> Children, let me go talk to them. Come, walk with me. You are strange, Smeagol. And a liar. But for the sake of it, I will help you once more. Be just a little bit nice to our guest, will you? Do we have to? By all means, you do. This old tree can only do him good. Come on, then. Climb our tree. Let's stay in sight. And now there's a picture in the tree, Riddle Master said. The word to enter his castle in the mountains. Why don't you join us, Meldis? We haven't seen you all evening. Yes, it is midsummer night. Come and drink with us. Thank you. Maybe later. That little monster. Something's not right with my lanterns. What's he up to now? Steve the moon. Don't mind him. Let's raise a glass. To moonlight. To moonlight. Elf feasting with this. Here is an example of a fallen being, utterly succumbed to the desire that is eating away at his heart. Is there hope for him? Well, that would require some will to do better. Why is he climbing a tree? Yet another mystery. Oh, my precious, mustn't risk our neck, must we? Beastman, 
Go hunt him down! The sorcerer sent us to find Gollum. And now I send you to kill that elf! Now! I should have bred you with more wheat. Come on, maggot! Yeah, short right across the border, he said. That bird led us straight into Elfland. Find the golem and bring it to the mountains. That's what the Candleman ordered. Ordered and left. That's not our leader. Rats. We're going back to the mines. Yeah. Good luck crossing that foul haze again without the blind one. Find the golem! Dead or alive, but find him! The blind one! <laughs> this one's breathing. He's dying. Now, we can make it quick, or we can give you some very unpleasant medicine. Where's your golem freak? You heard me. Where is the freak? <coughs> this one's breathing. He's dying. Now. We can make it quick, or we can give you some very unpleasant medicine. Where's your goblin freak? You heard me. Where is that freak? <coughs> right in front of me. Yeah, waste of time. The demons never talk. <coughs> Breathing. He's dying. Now, we can make it. Some very unpleasant medicine wears.